Hello and welcome to Recycled Rhythms. In this short series of videos, we're going to show you how you can make music at home or at school with lots and lots of things that you will find around you. So, for our first video, we are going to look at probably one of the easiest instruments to make, or maybe not even to make, maybe just to find, because today we're going to talk about drums and rhythm sticks. Now, I don't know about you, but if you look around your house right now, you can probably see 10, maybe even 20 different things that you can use to make drums with. And that's fantastic because that's what this is all about. It's inspiring you to use your imagination, use your creativity and find exactly what you've got at home that you can turn into a musical instrument. But there are just a couple of things that we need to remember when we're using things from around the house. Number one, please make sure that an adult checks that what you want to use is safe. We don't want any sharp edges or nasty accidents. Make sure it is clean so that it, again, it's healthy for you. And make sure that it's not really special or costing lots and lots of money because we don't want anything precious to get broken, do we? So, once you've had to think about that, maybe start by taking a walk around your house and seeing what you can find in each room. Now, I did exactly that and I started off in my kitchen and I put a few things in my music box over here. So let's see what I found. Now the first thing that I found in my kitchen was a nice big saucepan. Now saucepans are great drums because you can play them in different ways and straight away they're the right shape and they come in lots and lots of different sizes which means they'll all make different sounds. So this is mine. And maybe if I play it in a slightly different way, maybe it'll make a different sound. You might not hear this because this is going to be very quiet. Just using my fingertips there. And maybe if I play my drum, my saucepan in different ways, I will find more sounds. More of that in a moment. Let's see what else I found in my kitchen. Let's have a look. We found lots and lots of different tubs of food. Now this one used to have some nuts in it and it's great because it has a lid and if it has a lid that's just like the head of a drum. So we can play it with the lid on, we can also take the lid off and try it the other way. And it will make different sounds depending on how we play it with or without the lid. What else did we find? Let's have a little look. We found an old Christmas pudding container now. This is particularly good for children with smaller hands, so maybe our early years children. All of the things that we're going to do on these videos, you can adapt them to suit uh, the age of the child that you might be working with. So, in this case, another nice little drum, especially good for little hands. What else did we find in the kitchen? There must be something else. Oh yes, this is a microwave saucepan. I didn't even know there were such things, let alone that I have one in my kitchen. But here we are, this is a microwave saucepan. Turn it upside down, you've got yourself another drum. All of these things are made from different materials. They're different sizes, they're slightly different shapes, which is why they will all make different sounds. But I can see some of you sat there at home thinking, I wanna play like a real drummer. I want to use drumsticks but I haven't got any. Well, what can we use? Let's start in the kitchen again, shall we? Let's see. In the kitchen, I found a range of different drumsticks and I'm sure you're already ahead of me because first of all, we have good old wooden spoons. These are brilliant drumsticks. So maybe if I took my microwave saucepan, who knew? And there we go. We can make sounds. We can play our drums like a real drummer. Maybe we can even use two. I just need to make a little bit of space on my table. Then I can put my drum down and I can use both of mine. There we are. So straight away we've got drumsticks. There are different types of drumsticks you'll find in your kitchen as well. I've got wooden spatulas. I've got a metal spatula. Again, the only thing to really, really be in, bear in mind with these is to make sure 
that the, these are safe. This is not a sharp spatula, this is a nice blunt one, but still check with an adult at home that you are allowed to use them, that they're safe, that they are clean, and that they're not going to get broken. That's really, really important. So there we are. That was my little quick tour of my kitchen and what I could find there. And then I went into one of my children's bedrooms, which is always dangerous because it's so messy in there. But luckily in there, I found an old shoebox. It's a great drum. Now it won't last as long as a saucepan because it's only made of cardboard. So if I hit it too much or too hard, then it will fall apart. But still, I went into my other child's bedroom and I found their bin. What's it made from? Maybe that gives you a clue. That's right, it's made from metal! Fantastic sound. Absolutely brilliant. So, we're making drums. Again, make sure it's clean and empty. You don't want to be pouring rubbish everywhere. Uh, but we're making drums from all sorts of different materials. So, let's put that to one side and see what else we can find. Now I went for a little walk into my garden and in my garden I even found some drums. Now you could try playing your wheelie bins but maybe not too late so you, that you don't upset the neighbours. Maybe you could play that if you go out to clap the NHS on a Thursday but in my garden I found some flower pots. Now I don't know about you but I've been doing lots of planting in my garden when the weather's been nice and I've got lots of empty flower pots now because I've already planted what was in them. So turn those upside down and maybe use a, an old garden cane. This is the sort of cane that you use to hold plants up. Maybe use an old garden cane and you've got yourself another kind of a drumstick but do make sure again that it's safe that you're not going to get hurt when you use it. So maybe make sure that an adult helps you with those. Different sized plant pots will make different sounds. Maybe at home you've, you have a table or even just a space on the floor where you can lay out all of your different kinds of drums and your drumsticks and you can explore the different sounds that you can make with all of your drums. Rhythm sticks. Rhythm sticks are some of the easiest things to find and to make because you really don't need to make anything. Let's go back to our wooden spoons. Here are my wooden spoons. Now instead of using these as drumsticks this time, I'm going to hit them together and make them into rhythm sticks. Now some people call these claves, some people pronounce it clave, some people just call them rhythm sticks. They're all the same thing. It's just where you have sticks and you hit them together to make a good sound. There we are. Perhaps you can look around your house and find some other rhythm sticks as well. I found some more as well. Here's a couple of pens. They'll make a much quieter sound, but maybe your mums and dads and adults at home will enjoy that. There we go. So there's some rhythm sticks. I even found some old brushes. Now again, if you're going to use old brushes, make sure they're clean. Here is an old kitchen sink brush, or maybe it's a giant's toothbrush. I'm not sure. Here's another toothbrush. Rhythm sticks. And talking of brushes, why not have a go at using brushes instead of sticks to play your drums? Different sounds. So try all of these different things out. In my garage, I found an old paintbrush. Oh, that's not a paintbrush. That's the paintbrush. In my garage I found an old paintbrush and this funny looking brush which is used to clean the wheels of my car. Don't worry, it is clean. I checked that it was safe for me to use. Again, rhythm sticks. Different sounds. And that might make a fantastic sound on this old bucket that I found in my garage. There we go. So all of these different things we're using, we've just found around our house. We've not even had to make anything to make fantastic drums. So you might be wondering, why has Mr. Hollingshurst got two brooms leaning up against his wall? Well, that's because even they can be used as rhythm sticks. Now I wouldn't be holding these out in front of me because they're a bit big and I might knock something or I might get hurt. But how about you take 
broom handles like these and perhaps you can make these into rhythm sticks. There we go. Now, if you happen to have an old broom handle that you're no longer using lying around somewhere, then you can even take that broom handle and ask an adult to cut it into some smaller sections for you. Again, do make sure that an adult helps you with this so that we can make sure that the ends are nice and smooth so that there's nothing that can chip off and splinter and hurt you. So, here we go. These kinds of rhythm sticks are used by Morris dancers. When they dance, they hold them above their heads. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that uh, just to stay safe. Keep them down low in front of you. And depending how you hold your rhythm sticks, you might get slightly different sounds. You might be able to do slightly different things with them. So those are just a few examples of how you can make rhythm sticks and how you can make all sorts of different drums just from things that you'll find lying around at home. And as part of this Recycle Rhythms project, we're going to work together and find some different rhythms that we can play and things that you can join in with from home and from school. And in our next video, we'll look at making some different kinds of percussion instruments. Now, percussion instruments are basically any instruments that make their sound when you hit them or when you shake them. And so all of our drums and all of our rhythm sticks are percussion instruments. So we'll explore more percussion instruments and you'll also find on the Stoke-on-Trent City Music Service Facebook page, you'll find downloadable printable worksheets to go with each video to remind you of what we've talked about and give you some more ideas about how you can make some musical instruments at home. So I will see you again very soon on the next video. This has been Recycled Rhythms. Let's get music making and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye.